okay let us start the next numerical which is based on effect of temperature on resistance and rtc see the statement the resistance of a coil of a wire increases from 80 ohm at 10 degrees celsius to 96.6 ohm at 60 degrees celsius find the temperature coefficient of the material at 0 degree centigrade okay what is given 80 ohm resistance at 10 degree 96.6 ohm at 60 degree and what is asked you have to calculate the rtc at 0 degree celsius so what is the given data r1 that is the resistance r1 is 80 ohm at t1 is equal to 10 degree celsius r2 is 96.6 ohm at t2 degree celsius okay so according to the effect of temperature on resistance here no value of rtc is given so first it is calculate rtc according to the effect of temperature on resistance new resistance is equal to old resistance 1 plus old rtc into bracket new temperature minus old temperature so new resistance is what r2 old resistance is what r1 1 plus alpha 1 that is old rtc means which is related to the alpha uh, r1 alpha 1 in bracket new temperature is corresponds to r2 that is t2 and old temperature is corresponds to r1 that is t1 so so here r2 is known r1 is known and t2 and t1s are known so substituting all this value and transfer this 80 to this side 1 to this side we, we can calculate the value of alpha 1 so alpha 1 you will get the values of alpha 1 at 0 0.00415 per degree celsius so this is the rtc alpha 1 at t1 degree celsius but still the problem is not complete because what is asked rtc at 0 degree celsius so to calculate the rtc at 0 degree celsius we have to use this formula new rtc is equal to old rtc in divided by 1 plus old rtc new temperature minus old temperature so new rtc means what we have to determine rtc alpha 0 at 0 degree celsius means new rtc is alpha 0 new rtc is alpha 0 old rtc means which is a known value alpha 1 divided by 1 plus old rtc is what alpha 1 new temperature is what new temperature means new rtc uh, the temperature which is related to the new rtc is 0 minus old temperature means which is related to the old rtc that is alpha 1 that is uh, that is equal to 10 degree so alpha 1 divided by 1 plus alpha 1 0 minus t1 0 minus t1 so if we substitute the values so uh, t1 is equal to 10 degree so alpha 1 is substituted we'll get the alpha 0 as 0 0.00433 per degree celsius means this value this uh, this is the rtc at 0 degree celsius if the resistance of rtc is asked at, uh, at this alpha 0 we can determine that resistance also using this formula okay so next let us uh, let us see what is the potential uh, what is the next in problem what is the given in next problem a potential difference of 200 volt is applied across a copper filled coil at 15 degrees celsius and it draws the current 4 ampere what what is the mean temperature of coil when the current has fallen to 3.5 ampere and the voltage remains same take alpha 0 is equal to 1 divided by 234.5 per degree celsius so let us write down the given data what is given resistance at t1 15 degree resistance is not given at the 15 degree resistance is given in terms of voltage and current so using ohm's law resistance at t1 equal to 15 degree celsius is given by r1 is equal to v1 divided by i1 so v1 divided by i1 is 200 divided by 4 it gives you 50 ohm Similarly, resistance, what is given second condition, the current is fallen to 3.5 ampere, voltage applied is remain same, means at T2 degree Celsius, which is unknown, okay, at T2 degree Celsius, it is given by R2 is equal to V2 divided by I2, that is, voltage is going to remain same, so V2 is equal to V1, so V2 is 200, I2 is 3.5 ampere, so new resistance is 57.14 as V1 is equal to V2, okay, so we have to determine at RTC at 0 degree Celsius, RTC at 0 degree Celsius is alpha 0 is equal to 1 upon 234.5 per degree Celsius, according to the effect of temperature on resistance, so what, what is to be determined, we have to determine new RTC, where is to be new RTC is determined, T2 is 
is unknown but t1 and r1 is known as the t1 and r1 is known i can determine the value of alpha 1 if alpha 1 is calculated alpha 1 is calculated then i can calculate what i can calculate the new value okay what what would it, what will be the uh, what is the temperature that is i can determine the t2 so first is necessary to calculate the alpha 1 so new rtc is equal to old rtc divided by 1 plus old rtc new temperature minus old temperature so what is the new rtc new rtc is my alpha 1 okay here rtc at t1 hence rtc at t1 is equal to 15 degrees celsius is that is related to t1 new rtc is alpha 1 old rtc means which is a known value alpha 0 divided by 1 plus alpha 0 new temperature is 15 degree and old temperature is 0 so substituting this value of alpha 0 alpha 0 t1 as a 15 degree celsius minus 0 you will get the value of alpha 1 this is the rtc at 15 degree celsius so according to the effect of temperature on resistance according to the effect of temperature on resistance new resistance is equal to what old resistance 1 plus old rtc into new temperature minus old temperature so new resistance for now for now we have determined t1 we know the value of t1 r1 alpha 1 t2 is unknown r2 is unknown okay r2 is known okay so how to calculate r2 is equal to r1 that is new resistance is r2 old resistance is r1 in bracket 1 plus old rtc is related to r1 that is alpha 1 into new temperature is t2 minus old temperature is t1 okay so what is the unknown here only t2 is unknown alpha 1 is calculated r1 is known r2 is known so substituting all this value you will get the t2 is equal to 50.61 degree celsius that is we got the temperature at the temperature 50.61 degree celsius your current is fallen to 3.5 ampere keep in mind this is copper coil in case of copper coil as the current increase as the temperature increases resistance increases resistance increases means current is reduced this year 15 degree it is 57.14 but here the current is 4 ampere now the current is fallen to the 3.5 ampere so at t2 that is 50.61 degree celsius current is fallen to 3.5 ampere okay let us see the next example find the current flowing at the instant of switching 100 watt lamp on a 240 hole dc supply given that lamp working temperature is 200 degrees celsius and room temperature is 15 degrees celsius assume alpha 0 is equal to 0 0.005 per degree celsius here also the resistance are not, not directly given it is given in terms of power and voltage okay so at room temperature what is the room temperature given room temperature is 15 degrees celsius at room temperature t1 is equal to 15 degrees celsius rtc alpha 1 alpha 1 is also unknown and r1 is also known unknown which is to be calculated so r1 be cal uh, we have to calculate the value of r1 and we have to calculate the value of alpha 1 when lamp is at its full intensity when the lamp is reaches to this full intensity the wattage will be 100 watt and the temperature working temperature of the lamp at full wattage will be 2000 degrees celsius hence the resistance how will calculate actually how will calculate the power power is equal to v square by r v square by r what is given voltage is given power is given but resistance is unknown so r2 is equal to v square upon p so v square is equal to 240 square divided by 100 is equal to 576 ohm so we got the resistance related to 2000 degree related to the temperature t2 that is 2000 degree celsius now what is to be determined we know we what is given alpha 0 is given alpha 0 is given at which temperature at 0 degree celsius so new rtc what is to be determined r2 is known t2 is known alpha 2 is to be determined okay because in this there are two unknown quantities alpha 1 is also unknown r1 is also unknown but here we know the value of t2 we know the value of r2 and if we determine the value of alpha 2 we can we can calculate the alpha 1 and r1 so new rtc is equal to old rtc divided by 1 plus old rtc new temperature minus old temperature at temperature t2 is equal to 2000 degree celsius so t2 is equal to 2000 degree celsius alpha 2 that is new rtc is alpha 2 is equal to old rtc means alpha 0 
divided by 1 plus old RTC means alpha 0, new temperature is T2, old temperature is 0 degree Celsius. So, if we substitute the value of alpha 0 and temperature T2, we will get the value of alpha 2 as 4, uh, 0 0.000454 degree Celsius. So, according to the effect of temperature on resistance, new resistance is equal to old resistance in bracket 1 plus old RTC into new temperature minus old temperature. So, at T1 is equal to 15 degree Celsius, P1, P2, R1 is unknown. So, R1, so how we will calculate the R1? R1, that is new resistance is R1, old resistance, what is known? R, R2 is known, R2 is known. So, old resistance is R2, 1 plus, what is the old Old RTC, old RTC means which is related to, to the R2 that is alpha 2 in bracket T1 that is old new temperature minus old temperature. New temperature means which is T1 and old temperature means T2 which is related to R2. R2 is known, alpha 2 is calculated, T1 minus T2 means 15 minus 2000, it will give you the value 56.34 ohm. Okay, so once you calculate this resistance, it is at the instant of switching, that is at room temperature. Hence, how will you calculate the current? Current flowing through the, at the instant of switch, switching is, according to Ohm's law, I is equal to V by R. So, I1, at the instant of switching current I1 is equal to V upon R1 is equal to 240 divided by 56.34, that is this calculated resistance is equal to 2.26 ampere. Thank you. In the next, next session, we will study one more numerical. Thank you.